welcome back. Now we're ready to bring your vision to life. In this video, we'll learn about how to place your cabinets. But first, we'll go over different types of cabinets to select from. Under Layout, you'll find the buttons with cabinets written on it. Once you click on the button, all cabinets selected will appear. Under First Class, you'll find all of our cabinet types. Base, Wall, Semi-Tall, Tall Units, and other. If we go back to base cabinets, you'll find all of our available base units. They have the smallest to largest size shown in brackets next to the unit width. For base cabinets, we have drawer, basket, corner units, open units, stove units, rotary door units, rear cut units, and sink units. For our wall units, you'll find we have folding door, corner, rear cut, rear cut corner, rotary door, and open unit. For tall units, we have drawer, fridge tall, rotary, and basket tall units. For others, we have our horizontal fillers, which for this demonstration we'll focus on as we do not use vertical. Open panels, elusive doors, or false doors, wall supporting panels, and then appliance and decorations. Now that we have gone over all of our cabinets available, we can begin placing some in the room according to your design. Set your view on the area where you will be creating your cabinets, go over to Cabinet button, and begin selecting the styles you want. Make sure to place open panels on any sides that will be visible. This way we can have a nice finish edge and no cabinet carcass will show. When placing cabinets next to the wall, we must always also add filler so we have a clean transition from wall to cabinet. You can also copy and paste units by right-clicking, then going up to copy, and left-clicking again. But if you right-click to copy and then right-click again, it will delete the copied unit. Always remember to leave room for your appliances. To install a wall oven unit, you can go to Others, under Appliances, and choose the oven style you want. Then click the bottom and top panel of the tall oven unit. The oven should then autofill in that space. If you want to place a regular stove unit, dishwasher, air duct, or fridge, just find the appliance you'd like to place and you can adjust the angle with the space bar. You can also use this action to rotate cabinets as well and typically appliances that do have this feature will display a small pop-up message to indicate this. You can also scale, move, or rotate these items with the cursor icon. Select the icon and then the appliance. When you right click, you can choose to move, rotate, or scale. You can use the panel on the side to input new dimensions. You can click on the item itself and notice these small yellow squares. If you select them, you can manually adjust the item this way. 
You do also have the ability to use the space bar to cycle through different options such as width, height, and length. Once you're satisfied with your adjustments, remember to select Apply, otherwise your changes will not be saved. Now, if you'd like to place a microwave unit, get a close-up view to the area where you'll be placing it. Go to Cabinets, Other, and Appliances. Then select the microwave style you'd like, and select the bottom panel of the area where it will be placed, and it should auto-fill. For your countertop cooktops, go back to Cabinets, Appliances, and select the style you'd like. Place it on the cabinet where you wish it to sit, and select OK to confirm. And that will conclude today's lesson. Thank you for tuning in!